right let's come back and see next question this is a 2012 uh, atpl equation the ph of a 0.1 molar solution of the acid hq is 3 okay ph is 3 itself the value of ionization constant ka for the this one <coughs> for the acid is they have given us again four options you need to find the correct so what should i find out i need to find ka for this for hq that is all this so first of all as soon as this is given just write hq dissociates into h plus and q minus i need to find what ionization constant ka okay so uh, let me write um, h plus is equal to root ka by c this is how how did i get this this, this has come from oswald dilution law why did i take this because i need ka k dilution law correct yes now we very well know h plus is equal to ph okay our 10 raised per of negative logarithm of h plus ion concentration correct how much is this equal to that thing they've given us 10 raised per of minus 3 i can add this the ph is equal to negative logarithm h plus base 10 i can write right so this is the thing so now what is ph value 3 because they've given three times minus 3 correct right so now what is the concentration how much is c how much is c given c is 0.1 okay 0.1 molar oh substitute in this formula if i substitute in this formula what do i get i get 10 raised power of minus 3 to k into 0.1 i need to find k this is root which is equal to 10 raised power of minus 6 root i have taken out k into 0.1 so k if i take this out k is equal to 1 into 10 raised power of minus 5 so this is correct answer right simple i got from oswald dilution law so the correct option is 1 into 10 raised power of minus 5 yes now um, hope you are understanding this i am going a bit slowly so that you will all understand and keep practicing it on a regular basis i am just doing and just uploading but if you practice from your side is very important because the time is very very less for you all right let us see the 12th question so in this 12th question what did they give me <coughs> solid barium nitrate okay right uh, so solid barium nitrate is gradually dissolved in 1 to 10 of minus 4 sodium carbonate solution at which the barium precipitate uh, ba plus 2 precipitates of barium carbonate begins to form okay so the ksp of the solution is right so here uh, the ksp for barium carbonate is given 5.1 10 raised to the minus 9 so here this particular question is a triple 2012 uh, question here so now um, they've asked me to find for uh, what i need to find at which concentration of ba plus 2 precipitate okay i think i've done the same uh, numerical earlier also the same concept also was done but for that i'll be doing it again let's say this solution first concentration of carbonate is how much concentration of co3 is how much ions is 1 into 10 days per of minus 4 molar right for something to precipitate ksp should be less than or equal to concentration of barium plus 2 and concentration of co3 minus 2 this is what we have studied earlier so how much is ksp given 5.1 into 10 raised power of minus 9 correct now minimum concentration of barium should be you have asked me minimum concentration hence minimum concentration of ba plus 2 ions should be ksp by CO3 minus 2 KSP how much 5.1 10 to the minus 9 how much is equal to 1 1.0 1 10 to the of minus 4 which is equal to 5.1 to 10 to the of minus 5 molar this is the thing so 5.1 10 to the of minus 5 molar this is the correct option right now let us see the next question an acid HA ionizes as HA gives H plus plus A minus. 
the pH of one molar uh, solution is 5 okay its dissociation constant would be this is again a triple e 2011 uh, question uh, dissociation constant is asking us to find out from these four options which are given to us correct as soon as such question is given same thing uh, write the reaction okay right so how much is this uh, t is equal to 0 and this will be 1 how much the concentration will be 0 0 because the reaction is not yet started now at t is equal to t at some particular time how much is this this is uh, the concentration okay they, they said the ph of one molar solution is five they said that means one minus uh, 10 raised ph negative log of them i can write it as 10 raised per of minus five this will be 10 raised per of minus five this will be 10 raised per of minus five right now concentration of h plus a plus is equal to concentration of h plus now i need to find k k is equal to product by reactant concentration of h plus divided by a minus by h how much is h plus given 10 days per of minus 5 this is again 10 days per of minus 5 h is 1 minus 10 days per of minus 5 so now let us write this 1 is very much greater than 10 raised power of minus 5 isn't it yes when i compare this this that means what can i do i can uh, write this whole thing as 1 minus 10 raised power of minus 5 can be written as approximately 1 then what will k a be if i solve this k will be 1 into sorry 1 into 10 days per of minus 10 so this is answer when i solve this correct yes um hope this is uh, clear because how did i get 10 this is your 10 this is 1 1 into 10 days per of minus 10 is the option this is the correct answer yes so hope this is clear let us come back and do one more question I am trying to do all types of questions here. Let's see. Oh wow, such a big question. Right. What do you give us? Which of the following arrangement represents correct order of solubility of sparingly soluble salt? Right. Here uh, they've given us correct order of solubility. They uh, asked us, and they've given different options. So let us see what to do with this. Correct. Sparingly soluble salts of mercury chloride, chromium sulfate, barium sulfate, and chromium chloride. I need to find the correct order of solubilities of these. <clears throat> so, when such question is given to you, what should you do first? First, try to pick up one one and find out. Oh, I'll tell you. See here. The first thing you need to do is pick up one one. I said first thing. Let us take the first one. Hg2Cl2. This will break up into Hg plus two. Hg2 plus and 2Cl minus this is S1 mole per liter this is also S1 this is also S1 but this is 2 S1 so KSP we need to find Hg2 plus 2 and Cl minus 2 now how much is Hg plus 2 this is S1 how much is Cl it is 2 S1 square so when I take this I get uh, this is uh, equal to okay for uh, s this whole thing is equal to s1 isn't it this s1 s1 how much is this coming to this comes to 4 s1 which is equal to 4 s1 cube so solubility i need to find now solubility is equal to s1 is equal to ksp by 4 1 by 3 this is how you need to find now let us find for the next one it's chromium sulfate this will dissociate into 2 cr plus 3 plus 3 so4 minus 2 now same thing this will be s2 this will be 2 s2 this will be 3 s2 right so when i solve this this becomes 4s2 
into 27 S2 taken thrice which is equal to 108 S2 taken 5 times. So for such thing S2 is equal to Ksp by 108 raised to 1 to the power of 5 because 5 is here. I am finding for the third one same way like that only barium sulfate this dissociates into BAA plus 2 plus SO4 minus 2 ions. Let us divide this page. I will not find place again. Right. So for this, what is barium sulfate here? How much is given? S3 mole per liter. This is again S3. This is also S3. Now Ksp is equal to Uh, the concentration of the barium into concentration of this isn't it these two concentrations together how much do I get I want to get s3 square this is over let us do for fourth one chromium chloride chromium chloride dissociates into Cr plus 3 plus 3 Cl minus how much is chromium chloride here this is s4 mole per liter Cr plus 3 if I have to take I'll take S4. This is 3 S4 because 3, 2, 3 Cl minus. So if I find case Ksp, this into this, this into this, isn't it? This becomes S4 into 3 S4 whole cube. This answer comes to 27. Let me write this here. This comes to 27 S4 4. So Ksp. Okay, S4 is equal to, or uh, solubility is equal to, S4 is equal to, now this is S1, which we found out, this is S2, which we got, this is, uh, if I have to take, this is S3, okay, already there, isn't it? If I, let me write that, S3 is equal to Ksp half, okay, S3 is this. S4 if I have to write Ksp by 27 1 fourth okay right so this is how you have to solve everything now, which is the option Ksp by 4 1 by 3 Ksp by 4 1 by 3 so Ksp 108 this one so the correct option is the third option which we have got okay let me see this also Ksp half okay this one Next, KSP by 27 is what we have got. That also is right. The correct option is T. Let us come back and do next numerical, 15th numerical. So, sodium hydroxide is a strong base. They have given this strong base which will be which will be at the pH of 5 into 10 raised to the power of minus 2 molar sodium hydroxide. Log 2 is equal to 0.3. Okay. Now, uh, here they have given this uh, numerical. Let us see how to solve this. They have asked me to uh, find out what sodium hydroxide, you know, what will be the pH they asked me. Okay. So basically when such numerical is given to you, you can start solving the numerical like this. 5, 5.0 into 10 of minus 2 molar sodium hydroxide is equal to concentration of OH minus, how much is equal to, okay, uh, it is equal to how much okay the same thing it is basically it is equal to 5 10 to of minus 2 molar correct now we very well know h plus ion concentration to h minus ion concentration is 1 into 10 to of minus 14 so how much is oh minus now this one so h plus into 5 into 10 to of minus 2 is equal to 1 into 10 to of minus 14 find out h plus because that is what i need to find h plus is equal to 1 into 10 raised to the minus 14 divided by 5 into 10 raised to the minus 2 this comes to that's it but still i'm not done ph is equal to minus log of h plus what is this minus log what is the H plus concentration we have got? 2 into 10 is of minus 3. Uh, is it minus 3 or minus 13? 12, no, this is 13. Yes, minus 13. So, approximately they have given log 2 value here. 
is 0.3 they have given so when I solve this I need to I've already shown in the log uh, table like uh, the that they have to see so log 2 uh, given already when I do this we will get 12.69 which is approximately 12.70 so the answer is 12.70